What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry Vlogs. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing today? Um, Let me just say... <coughs> I knew, I knew I was about to start coughing. That's why I'm like, let me just let me just be honest. I played myself. So right before I um hit the record button, I was being greedy, eating pizza with mad pepper flakes. It is spicy and I'm feeling a little tingling. A little tingling. Is my water bottle here? No, I'm feeling a little tingling in my throat right now. But <clears throat> I'll survive. I'll survive. So hey, Chubby Blossoms, how y'all doing? But y'all can tell about this. As y'all can tell by the title, this is going to be a hair video. I'm going to be doing baby girl's hair. I was going to do my hair as well in this video, but honestly, I don't have the strength or energy to do it. So today we'll focus solely on baby girl's hair. And then maybe tomorrow morning when I get up and get in the shower, then I'll wash my hair and so on for it. My hair's not looking, I got like a curly fro in the back, a little side part slick down. My hair's not looking too bad, not looking too crazy. I did wash my hair last week so it's not like you know it's been weeks my hair is dirty baby girl on the other hand it has been two weeks since i washed her hair and she's been getting a lot of quick and easy gold type of hairstyles like um two ponytails one bun like simple stuff like that because as y'all know um i have carpal tunnel because of this pregnancy okay but i have carpal tunnel and my hands be cramping and they be hurting and it's hard for me to do hairstyles in her hair that will last like a week or two but i'm tired i am tired your girl's tired of doing hair every single day so today is the day baby girl is going and she is wilding in that shower right now all i hear is clap clap slap slap the floor better not be wet though but um today is the day baby girl is going to get a hairstyle that hopefully will last her a week to two weeks and yeah so my idea for the hairstyle is I don't I'm I'm not trying to get my hands cramping so I'm not trying to do nothing like teeny tiny small tedious extremely time consuming I want to be do it and get it done I have my bee sticks here and if y'all know let me tell y'all something let me tell y'all something be real I'm so happy I'm having a boy because I don't have to do his hair I told, I told Dwayne I said listen Soon as baby boy get a hairline, like he want to get a haircut, cause I'm like I'm uh, I do not enjoy doing hair. I'm happy that you know Myla has nice hair, good texture hair. Her hair is growing. I'm happy that I have a head full of hair because at one point in this pregnancy I was experiencing hair loss, but I'm I'm overdoing the hair. Okay, so Myla has a big giant ooh thing full of beads. I already went through the beads and I picked out these beads here. And we about to put these beads on a stick. So when I am doing her hair, uh, uh, don't roll on the floor because I'm not getting you. Dang, and it rolled away. Where did it go? I don't even see it. All right, we lost the bead. Bead down. But I have these beads right here. And they're just like random colors, but they're all the same size. So I said, this is what we're going to use. So these are the beads I have here. This might not be enough. I think I'm going to put four, maybe I'll put five beads on each ponytail. And then I'm definitely going to have to use these and then like re-bead them in order to continue on with her hair. So these are the colors that we're going with. I feel like I buy beads all the time and it's like she never has a variety of beads. Like it's crazy. So I'm just going to randomly put the beads on the stick, but... I'm going to separate them first just to assure that, God dang it, I said we don't got enough beads and you still want to roll away. Like, full in line. Full in line. All right, I'm just going to separate the beads by um, colors to make sure that I'm not putting two of the same colors on the same ponytail, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Y'all going to watch me do this. Oh, and how could I forget? If you are new here, hey, boo, hey. My name is Cherry. Welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the family. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time I post a new video. All right. So let me just get this done. Right now, my boyfriend is at work. It is Saturday and he's at work. I told y'all lately he's been trying to do like overtime here and there. So maybe like twice a month. He'll do overtime at work because the baby is coming. Okay, the baby is coming and 
He's just trying to bring in as much extra income as he's able to before um, the baby comes. When a baby comes, he will be on, um, what is it called? He will be on paternity leave. So I think it's so dope that men also get time off from work when, you know, they have a child. As far as I know, before it was just women. Y'all get y'all six weeks and you got to get back in the field. But now men also get to take paternity leave. So he will be going on paternity leave once the baby comes and he's also in a process of trying to switch over his position to work from home which would be amazing if he's able to do that so he's trying to um switch over his position from to work from home so he can still like work but just be home don't have to deal with traveling in a commute all right so this is get, get choked over there this is yo and another bead is rolling I'm gonna have to fight these beads. I'm gonna have to fight them. Ugh, it's a bee right here. Ugh, it's a bee right here. That's it. Bees is out of control. All right. So this is how the bees is looking. Now I'm just gonna put. So we got five. Huh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, nine exactly for the purple. So I might do nine ponytails and just put one of each color. All right. So let's get started on that. She wanna know me, I stay low key, y'all gas, no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gonna be, baby squad up, we finna go deep. Riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? And each one has two um, beads on it. Um, two, not two beads. Each one has two ponytails worth of beads. So that's two, four, six, eight. That's ten ponytails. And then ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm going to save these right here. Just in case I do more than ten ponytails in the back. But honestly, I don't think that it's going to be more than ten. But yeah, these are how the beads are looking. I'm going to wash my lips here now. And then I will be back. Let me put these in a the bag for they because they already trying to roll. I'm gonna go in the bathroom and wash Myla's hair now. And then I'll be back once her hair is washed. I know she's gonna want to eat pizza, so she'll probably eat her pizza first, and then we'll get started on the hairstyle. So yeah, the girl will be back. So this is Myla's hair before we wash it. She's been wearing. Turn around. She's been wearing a lot of ponytails, a lot of buns, turn around, a lot of things of that nature because my hands have been jacked up. So she's about to get in the tub, get this hair washed, and we'll be back. And we'll be back once the hair is done. Okay, so here's my setup real quick. I'll just get my step ladder and put it here on this first step. Is the combs and brushes that I'll be using just some rubber bands on a piece of aluminum foil the edge control I use and the gel I use then I have some hair ties and a clip right here and then down here is just the oils that I use I keep them on the bottom because once I put oil in this leave-in conditioner and her hair one time that's it I don't use it again and then right here on the couch I just put my beads because if I put it here I'm pretty sure they're gonna be slipping and falling and sliding and ain't nobody got time for that. So the bees are right here. 
Myla's about to get out the shower. I already washed her hair and everything. But I'm about to go to Disney Plus and find something for us to watch while I'm doing her hair. And look, look at my name. My name is The Real Bronx. I was going to put Real Bronx, bitch. But <laughs> the way it was like, you're wilding. You're going to put that on the Disney app? So I put um, Real Bronx Mom. That's my name. When, fun fact, when Myla first started saying Dwayne's name, she couldn't say Dwayne, so she called him Bawang. <laughs> so that's why his name is Bawang. And then Myla Dream. So let me actually go on the kids' profile. And we're going to find something to watch while baby girl getting her hair done. Actually, I might go on my app. Her app is like, yeah, it's, it's for her age, but ain't nobody got time to watch no Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or none of this stuff. Um, we, as a family, we love superhero movies. So, yeah, I might have to go on my name to get to the superhero movies. Let me see. If y'all have the Disney Plus app, let me know. What are some of your favorite things to watch on Disney Plus? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to watch Winnie the Pooh. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm good on that. But let me know what are some of your favorite things. Okay, let me see what this is. So watch on the Disney Plus app. All right, I'll be back once we actually get started doing my list here. We saw this in the movies and we saw it at home, but this is like a family favorite. So we're watching The Little Mermaid. And actually, I need to update Myla's profile because she should be able to have access to The Little Mermaid and stuff. Her profile might be like on five and under. I gotta, I gotta fix that. But yeah, The Little Mermaid is what we will be watching. So first and foremost, let me just say excuse the garbage in the background. I know y'all see it, but because I live in a building, I have to get dressed, get in the elevator, go downstairs, go out the back of the building, and then walk to the dumpster to throw the garbage out. And ain't nobody was trying to do that right now. So the garbage will be making a guest appearance in this video. But um, I did end up taking it out. Well, actually, my boyfriend ended up taking it out when he came, so it was not sitting there all night long. But anyways, back to the hair. So as y'all can see, Myla hair has shrinkage. She has really nice hair. I love her hair texture, but it's extremely curly and it does shrink when she washes it or if it's not in the hairstyle that um, allows it to be stretched like the hairstyle she's going to get today. Um, I always wash her hair two times and then I put in a deep conditioner and let her just like play in the, the um, bath for a little while. Then I rinse that out, comb through a conditioner and then rinse that out. And then I always do a leave-in conditioner, peppermint oil, black castor oil, and coconut oil I put in her hair. And then we start to the process of doing whatever hairstyle that I am doing. Now, one thing's for certain, two things for sure, your girl can never, ever get a straight part. So I feel like when I'm doing her hair, I spend the most time just trying to get a straight part. Like parting here is the most time consuming for me and it's low key annoying. Like I'm a Virgo and if you know anything about Virgos, we are perfectionists. So no matter how many times I try, I keep saying I gotta try again, I gotta try again. And Myla's like, come on, like just get it done and be, you know, and let's be over with it. But um, my parts never come out straight. I will say though, this time around, I feel like this is the straightest that I've ever gotten my parts. So kudos to me and pat on my back um, for doing these parts. But yeah, so now I'm just parting her hair in sections. I'm going to do two um, ponytails in the back using rubber bands. And don't worry, her rubber bands are not too tight. 
I always ask her once I put the rubber bands in if it's too tight before I continue with the twist and putting the beads on it and she would definitely let me know if it is too tight and when I'm doing small ponytails like this I just use a little edge control and then I use the edge control brush to sleek down her hair and then um, tie up in a ponytail. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of So instead of me recording every single section, I'm just showing y'all section after section after it is done. And for the most part, Myla does really well with getting her hair done. It's just that because honestly it's me, I take so long doing parts. By the time I get to the front of her hair, she gets antsy. She's like, are we done yet? And you know, she starts getting a little fidgety. So when I get to the front, I always try to like speed it up and rush it because I took so long doing the back. So this is how the back is looking. I'm loving it. She's loving it. And the beads look really good. Using that edge control and of course the oils and other things I put in her hair. It always has her hair looking healthy and shiny. And then when she has hairstyles like braids or twists or something. You can really see the length of her hair. Versus when her hair is like just wet straight out the shower and it is curly. So now we're going to figure out what to do with the front. And we're going to um, style the front. What normally happens is, and here's my little, let me see. She's not the bang, the bang. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. She was like, I look like grandma because my mom has a bang and yeah. But um, what normally ends up happening is Myla ends up getting two buns in the front. And sometimes I might do her like a twist or something um, coming down like I'm doing right here. But the front of her hair never usually gets styled like the back of her hair because at this point she's over it and I'm over it as well the hairstyles always come out cute but I never put as much effort into doing the front of her hair as I do the back of her hair because I take so long just to do the back of her hair I'm not a professional so you know I do the best that I can and even though nine out of ten times she ends up with two buns it still always comes out to be a nice cute hairstyle so here what I'm doing is I gave her two ponytails um, in front of her bun so she can have like two beads hanging on the side of her face and now I'm just twisting it and I'm going to add the beads as I'm twisting it I apply a little bit of edge control as I go down um, the shaft of her hair to help keep the twist nice and sleek and it also gives it that nice shine that you see in um, you see with the other twist that she has in her hair I wanna be the one to surprise you wake you up in the morning
I see the dream we chasing true We don't care for me, yeah, yeah Luckily we free to be first class Wedding cash only, oh, yeah, yeah Now, no matter how good or bad of a hairstylist you are, you have to. You just have to get the edges going, okay? Now, I don't know how to do edges. I just brush them to the front and then slick them down to the side, and that is that. But here is the end result of Myla's hair. This is the back. We are loving this hairstyle. She ended up with nine twists in the back or nine ponytails in the back. Here's how we are looking from the side. She has the bun sleek down, looking good. And then I just gave her two beads in the front so when she shakes her head, she loves when she shakes her head and like the beads go in her face. Like after I did this hairstyle, she legit was in the mirror for like a half an hour. Just looking at her hair, shaking her head, you know, playing with her beads. And this hairstyle looks really, really good. I wish I was able to do the whole head and um, ponytails and twists like this. But again, like Myla did her best sitting there. But at this point, we were both done. The hairstyle really came out cute regardless of you know if I was able to do the front the way I did the back it's something about having a daughter or not even a daughter just having a little girl feel confident in themselves feel beautiful love their hair you know be proud of the way it looks and things like that so when I'm done doing Myla hair just as happy and excited as she is I feel a sense of pride that my daughter's feeling herself anyways Thank y'all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye Blossoms.